You are responsible for cluttering our girls' beds with this kind of stuff. We're celebrating National Numeracy Day, which is the only day in the UK dedicated to everyday maths. This year, National Numeracy has a theme. It's all about making money. So here we are in Guildford, looking forward to meeting some young entrepreneurs as part of the Children's Business Fair, where they're using everyday maths to build a business, build a product, and uh, make some money and learn about numbers. This was the original? Yes. Very cool. And it sold out every time. I only yeah. had like one or two of these. And then I worked out that this is probably the trend that's going on right now. So I just expanded yeah. um, into what it is today. Um, and I sell about 300 in a month. Wow. And um, I, the revenue for a year is about 30K. Oh so, my gosh. Yeah. Would you like numbers? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Is this fun putting it all into practice, running a business? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, on the eco wrap, we have six pounds sixty four profit for selling for eight. Really? To cost um, one thirty seven. That's very make, good. To one thirty seven to make a singular piece. Good profit yeah. margin. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then eighty three percent. Wow. Okay. You even know your percentages. Yeah, yeah. And 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 how That's many do you sell per week, per month? How do you think about that? So. So per business fair, we roughly oh, have okay. around like 10 we sell, yeah. um, which gives me around like 80, 80 pounds. Yeah. But then um, for the last three couple of years, yeah. every time I've been to a business fair, I've also sold other products. So, right. Um, we are like eco-friendly bookmarks. Oh. Very nice. Do you make them? Oh, uh, yes. So yeah. they're oh, I love this. I buy all my products in big bulk. So yeah. I can, it can last me over a few months. Oh, and I price them at £4.95. Yeah. How much does it cost you to make? 16p. Okay. No way. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So you're doing pretty well. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Well. If you can do card, then that's great. It's about, you know, when people have confidence with numbers, it's things like this, right, that enable you to do it and you're learning about savings. They're all great life skills. There we go. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah, just thought oh, right. There you go. <laughs> There we go. Is that yeah, half right? It's going to be about a thousand pounds on his new printer. Wow. From money he made at this fair. Yeah. That's so and reinvested it. And reinvested it. That's really, it's really, that's really interesting to hear. I think it's when it gets exciting, isn't it? When it means something to you. That's right. It's tangible. Yeah, you've been, you've been, you've made the numbers and the maths mean something. Precisely. Yeah. And have you, are you putting some money away in savings or bought some fun things for yourself? Yeah. I remember, I think the first thing I saved up for was to go on a school trip. Oh, well um, done. Where did yeah. you go? We went to Spain. Very nice. Great. And, and you funded that through saving yes. from the business. That's incredible. Right. What's particularly interesting about the business fair is that it's, it's kind of, it's not sneaking numbers into their lives, but it's finding a way that it makes numbers relevant to them. So by running a business, they know that they spend a lot on their cost of product. They don't make as much money afterwards. So sort of automatically, they, they get the hang of how the numbers work, which I think is the real genius of framing numbers in this way. I always really enjoy doing arts and crafts, and I thought um, in restaurants when they give you the crayons, they yes. just end up going to waste. Yes. So I thought I could make something out of this, and yeah. I had the idea to um, melt them down and create letters. And, and, and now I think I've read, have you started like a collection point for oh, yes. old and used crayons? and? Um, yeah, so I did. So in um, Zero Carbon Guildford and at right. Solar Sisters uh, right. a couple of years ago, I started a crayon box. Yeah. So people, people, people could come and yeah. Their own cool stuff. You're so right about all the restaurants when they give it for. Our, you know, we have two young girls. You know, they used to give all the crayons. Yeah, exactly. and they all go to waste. You've yeah, turned them into so, something so fantastic. Exactly. So I've informed a lot of people at my school and yeah. my friends about it. So often when they so you have no shortage of, of yeah, supplies definitely. now. Yeah. One of my biggest supplies at the moment. Um, when I go to centre parks, they obviously there's a oh, lot of yes, restaurants there. Are you, yes. And you've done exactly. a deal with them, have you? Exactly, yeah. So, so Molly, your cost of making then is it quite low? It's and, really low, yeah, yeah. Because I don't have to buy any crayons. Oh, oh my gosh, there you wow. are! Look at that. Well, Brilliant. we have to pay for that. that is... Like I said, you know, it's not only so useful, but it's so beautiful. Oh wow! Okay. This is your accounting book, yeah. is it? So Let's have a look at this. Prof like look at these. God, these are like these are very healthy profit margins. And, and you're a Star Wars yeah, fan. And we love yeah. Lego. Right, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one of your stormtrooper soaps. Is that all right? Yeah, that's all right. That is, that is incredibly neat. We use numbers quite a lot. Uh, obviously, um, calculating our profit and turnover, um, seeing how much our cost per uh, cost per soap is, and bath bombs is where we use them. I'm Ben. 
the author of this book. Of this book? It. You wrote it? Yeah. And how old are you? Uh, nine. Nine? And you've yes. already written your own book? Yes. That is extraordinary. Did you also bake the cookies? Yes. So you can do everything. Well, most importantly, Benji, can you sign the book for me? These cost oh. £26 with the case. Yeah. The notebooks cost £15. Great. So £26. Pounds. Are you going to do that in your head? It's £41. Pounds. Oh, 41. look at that. Gonna... I think um, numeracy skills are so important for children, um, whether they apply it in their business or their day-to-day -day life. It's so vital. So projects like the Richmond Project, I think, are really, really helpful. We and get it's been, on. Have you been making a bit of money? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, so far okay. so good. Yeah. Do you want to tell us how much these things cost? Yeah. Um, so the smalls are eight pounds. Yeah. Um, the mediums are twelve pounds, and then the trio. Yeah. Um, is eighteen pounds. Came up with like the Christmas trees and the boot jacks. Yeah. And stuff like yeah, that. We have and is this a mini cheese board then? Um, this is called like a breakfast board. Right. And, this could and be. it's like just for like tiny little pieces of the bread and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you uh, you've had me at breakfast board. Yeah. So, so, and how do you price these things, Charlie? Um, how do you come well, up with the pricing? I look at like other websites, like the Oak and Rope and White Company. And, and do you I price see, like, a bit lower, a bit higher? I price a bit lower because yeah. I'm not obviously I'm not as well known. I'm still a yeah. child. Yeah. And I don't have like a proper brand. Yes. But um, I just look at them and their quality. If I can say so myself, it's not that much higher. So I think if I just price it low, it's a good way to start. Then I can start getting more well known. And then what does it cost to you with all this mat raw material? Um, to like make and packaging and everything for the, the pink part experience, it costs one pound fifty-five. Oh wow! So you're making a pretty Great. good so margin. You're doing pretty well well That's done. Good. Okay. Well, should we? I will come and grab. Let me grab. Something. Do you know what I might? I know this is not pearl, but these are so unique. I might get one of those. Get one of those yeah. for myself. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. We have two daughters, and I'm always buying for them. Yeah, well, so you I thought. Get something for yourself. Yes. For yes. Right, come on then. Now, what I, I might. Do this. I have some is cash four, as well. Is that four pounds? Yeah, these ones are. Okay, and these. Emily, I and think I may even have four pounds. There we go. Perfect. Cut all of the dry um, skin off your yeah. lips and yeah. all the dirt that your lips don't need and makes them look really refreshed. All oh, right. Okay. So do you, you put it on and then do you wash it off? Is yeah, it like a so body you, scrub? Yeah, yeah. So you leave it on for let's say thirty seconds and you take it off and then you can apply the lip balm and it gives your Fantastic. lips really moisture. And how long have you been doing the, uh, the business side of it? Um. You said you've been doing it since you were six. Yeah, but then we, I think we, we just sold at my school for the first three years, and then last year we fairs. started doing the fairs. I've done three so far. Three fairs, and, and, and how's it going? Get, making good really money? Really good. Yeah, yeah. we've yeah. sold. Well, we've made £600 from the wow, fair. You've okay. made £600? And, 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 wow. you, and you give... <laughs> that's how much profit have you made? So what, £600 of... That's profit. Oh, that's profit? Yeah. And 25% <laughs> you give to charity? Yeah, so oh. th there's a charity called Nishkam Swat. Yes. And they go all around the UK and feed the homeless. Yeah. Very lovely. I think I've met some people from that charity. Yeah, very oh, lovely. what a lovely idea. Thank you. Yeah, and one of their mums told me uh, with something which was great, she said this is the, it's the most exciting maths lesson her kids have ever had. Had. Seeing all their optimism and confidence doesn't just make me excited for their futures, makes me excited for our country's future too.